Today we will be testing the EMA deviation corrected super smoother. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for TradingView. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said today, we will be testing the EMA deviation corrected super smoother. Before we do though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 53 strategies with 15 of them being profitable. And we have also tested a total of 740 indicators with 295 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. Uh, we have also tested a total of three different indicators, retested three different indicators. Um, and two of those have maintained the winning status. So this is the advanced testing stage. And the best one was uh, able to achieve a 64% win rate. And so keep in mind that we test most of these strategies and indicators on the Forex market, but they can be applied to just about any market universally. All right, so today's indicator is the EMA deviation corrected super smoother. And you can see it here on screen. And this indicator is pretty easy um, in that it gives us the uh, buy and sell signals for us. Uh, the creator of this indicator does a great job of creating indicators um, or at least coding um, indicators and putting them out there. I'm not sure if all of them are exactly uh, the uh, creator's creations like specifically from mind i think some of them are created from um, other people's uh, kind of indicators that they put together and built out for trading view nonetheless uh, we do have these let's see if i can find i don't think it's gonna give no it doesn't Anyways, uh, the long signals or the buy signals are a little bit hard to see because they are in yellow here. And the uh, sell signals, the short signals are in purple right here. And so as you guessed, what we are looking for is when we get a buy signal or an L, a long signal, we are going to go long. When we get an S or a short signal, we are going to go short. And so, pretty simple, not much to it. Let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of this. All 
right so the first signal there we pick up is a short signal right here we get that s there uh, we get a little bit of a pullback as soon as we would have entered there and then immediate push down from there which does come down and get us to our take profit let's go ahead and continue on Right, the next signal that we pick up is a long signal right here get a little bit of a push to the upside it isn't quite far enough up there to get us to our take profit before it then rolls over and starts to push down and that does come down and hits our stop let's go ahead and continue on All right, we then pick up a short right here. We get a nice push to the downside on that entry candle, which would have come down and hit our take profit. Let's go ahead and continue on to the next one, which is actually gonna be right here. And that one is a long, we get a little bit of a push to the upside, but then it rolls over, pushes down really heavily. That one does come down and stop us out and yeah, that one was stopped out there as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and fast forward through the rest of the testing. That way things don't get too long. And we'll pick this up when we are at the end of the year. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what this indicator was able to achieve here. Uh, before we do though, I wanted to give a shout out to our Patreon only channel on our Discord server. So this is our Discord here. This is our Patreon only channel for the patrons. It's kind of a private channel where we post some really great advanced information. Uh, uh, Sasquatch here is a professional Forex prop trader posting some amazing Forex analysis uh, on a daily basis. Our admin J post futures analysis on the futures market, as well as myself, I am uh, throughout the week doing day trading of the S&P 500 and posting each and every one of my trades live in real time as I'm taking them. I'm growing a small account. Uh, it's up about 170% um, at this point, and so going rather well so far. Another thing that I'm going to start doing here is offering a small amount of time to each patron who is interested for some one on one coaching and uh, basic trading advice. Again, it won't be a lot of time for the initial nine dollars, um, but a little bit of time nonetheless. And so if you're interested in that, feel free to reach out to me here on Discord. All right, back to our indicator here. Let's go ahead and scroll back there get everything in focus all right let's go ahead and count it out and see what we have so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so we have eleven trades all together and we have one two three four five and six we have six winning trades and so that's not going to meet the 60 percent criteria that we're looking for got really close to it all in all, it seemed like this indicator was doing rather well, um, but did run into kind of some consolidation here. And so you can kind of see uh, for the better part of the year, price wasn't really moving that drastically. And I think that's kind of what uh, kind of caused the main issue with this indicator. Anytime price moved really well, the indicator was calling trades uh, very, um, relatively very accurately. And so again, it wasn't until we hit kind of consolidation and this kind of ranging market here where we weren't really getting hard moves um, that it started to struggle to get the timing quite right. And so uh, for that reason, this one is going to go on the no list and we will move on to the next indicator from here. 